SpaceX launched its first mission in 2018 on Sunday, and something went terribly wrong. I'm Lei. Let's talk about it. By now, you guys probably have already heard the news. SpaceX's first payload in 2018 is indeed lost. But since the mission is classified, there are a lot of rumors around it. Except for a few people, none of us know what exactly happened. People are confused. I'm confused, to be honest. The whole situation is pretty confusing because from our point of view, everything went perfectly on Sunday. So let's talk about the situation and what the consequences may be. What happened on Sunday was that a classified government payload made by Northrop Grumman was sent to low Earth orbit by a Falcon 9 rocket. The entire launch was webcasted on SpaceX's YouTube channel, and as always, I was there watching. The launch was successful. The first stage separation was successful. The landing of the first stage was successful. The fairing deployment was successful. However, I would like to point out that the confirmation of the fairing deployment did come a little bit later than we expected. All right, so we'll address the fairing deployment here in a second once we have more information. But for now, we're going to shift our transition back to the focus on the secondary mission, which is the landing and recovery of the first stage. Now, it is nighttime, so we're looking at a black screen, but we should be able to see some burning of the, the second and third burns here in the landing sequence. Um, quick sidebar, we did get successful confirmation that the fairings did deploy. So the primary mission has concluded up to this point successfully, and now Zuma and second stage are continuing on to their final orbit. I don't know if this means anything, but as far as we know, the launch was a total success. This is where the mystery starts. Because the payload was classified, we were not shown the rest of the mission. Unlike normal commercial webcasts, we do not know if the second stage was separated successfully from the Zuma payload. But here's what we know. First of all, the Zuma mission indeed failed. And this has incurred substantial loss to the United States government. Again, we don't know the details, but the payload is reportedly over a billion dollars. I don't know if I've seen any payload worth more than that. I'm sure you guys will enlighten me in the comment section. Because of the cost and significance of the payload, this incident is not to be taken lightly, and the outcome of the investigation will definitely lead to serious consequences either to SpaceX or to Northrop Grumman. One other thing we know is that Zuma appeared on the satellite catalog under the name USA-280 which means it has stayed in orbit long enough to get catalogued. This, however, does not contradict with what we know because all anonymous sources seem to agree that the problem is not with Zuma reaching the orbit, but with the second stage separation. However, I would like to point out that these are all secondary information from anonymous sources. The only information we've gotten from a primary source is the one from SpaceX. The president and the COO of SpaceX said this. For clarity, after review of all data to date, Falcon 9 did everything correctly on Sunday night. If we or other find otherwise based on further review, we will report it immediately. Information published that is contrary to this statement is categorically false. Due to the classified nature of the payload, no further comment is possible. If we were to trust her, there are just two possibilities left. First, the mission is completely successful and all those information about its failure is simply conventional media quoting non-existent anonymous sources to get people's attention. Due to the classified nature of the mission, we'll never know if the media lied. However, this line of argument falls dangerously on the border of becoming a conspiracy. I'm not a big fan of conspiracy theories. So assuming the media did not lie and the mission indeed failed because of the problem with the separation, this leaves us with only one other possibility, which is that Northrop Grumman is at fault. Northrop Grumman is the primary contractor of this mission. The payload Zuma and the payload adapter are both built by them. For those of you who don't know, payload adapter plays a significant role in the separation process. So this could be it. With that said, I just want to point out once again that all the information we've seen on the internet so far are speculations. We have multiple anonymous sources, we have Northrop Grumman declining to comment. The only definitive statement we have gotten so far is the one from the president and COO of SpaceX, Shotwell. And I say we trust her, because nothing productive will come out of speculations. We will be informed when there are more updates available. Lastly, I want to emphasize on the significance of this mission. This is the third government mission for SpaceX and the failure in the mission will clearly not be appreciated by the United States government. 
Depending on the outcome of the investigation, this accident might result in the government awarding more launch opportunities to ULA and less to SpaceX. This is clearly not a desirable situation for SpaceX. However, as far as SpaceX commercial launches are concerned, I don't think that part of the business will be affected. Yes, SpaceX sales managers might need to pick up the phone and appease some of their concerned customers, but eventually they will come into senses and realize that this is not SpaceX's fault. As for the future launches of SpaceX, we were told that they will not be affected. So don't worry about it, Falcon Heavy is still going up this month. However, if SpaceX were to be awarded less government launches in the future, this might affect its revenue stream, which means SpaceX will have less money to put into the development of the Big Falcon rocket, which is probably not something we want. So yeah, this is it. I'll probably not make any more videos about the Zuma situation. If you have any more questions regarding the Zuma launch, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Lay Creatives and ask me there. Also, what do you guys think of this incident? Will it affect SpaceX future businesses? Let me know in the comment down below. Again, I'm Lei. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.